Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte launched a scathing attack on Brussels as he warned there is a real risk the EU will fail unless the bloc comes up with a united response to the C-O-R-O-N, a virus crisis. Speaking to BBC News, Italy's Prime Minister claimed the coronavirus outbreak is the biggest challenge faced by the bloc since World War II, as he urged EU leaders to step up. He said, it's a big challenge to the existence of Europe and the history of Europe. We're not just writing pages in the books of economics, we're writing pages in history books. This is a big appointment with history and we cannot miss it. Myself and other European leaders need to rise to the challenge. There's no doubt that if our response isn't strong and unified if Europe fails to come up with a monetary and financial policy adequate for the biggest challenge since the Second World War, for sure, not only Italians but Europeans. He added, if we do not seize the opportunity to put new life into the European project, the risk of failure is real. Mr. Conte urged sticking with the rigid lockdown, rejecting calls from businesses to open factories, while France extended its lockdown past April 15, though the increase of hospital deaths appeared to be slowing again. Disunity in the European Union EU finance ministers failed to agree on a joint response on more economic support for their countries, despite talks that stretched into the night on a 16-hour video conference. German economy minister Peter Altmaier said he expected European Union finance ministers meeting later on Thursday to make progress towards agreeing a 500 billion euro, 543.20 billion dollars coronavirus in a 16-hour video conference that stretched through the night from Tuesday afternoon to Wednesday morning, the EU ministers failed to seal a deal on how much more to support their coronavirus-stricken economies. The ministers are due to reconvene at 1500 GMT on Thursday. It's important that we take this decision today on the 500 billion euros that is in discussion, that's an incredibly large sum of money that we could use to help a lot of people, especially in the hardest hit countries, Spain and Italy, Altmaier told Germany's Deutschlandfunk Radio. I have confidence that German finance minister Olaf Scholz, together with his colleague French finance minister Bruno Le Maire, can push this forward today and we are all working on that. Mr. Scholz had said on Wednesday that finance ministers had almost reached agreement but not quite and he hoped a deal would be struck before Easter. But divisions have so far prevented a deal between southern EU states, led by Italy, who demand far-reaching measures like issuing joint EU debt, and the Netherlands, acting as the bulwark of the fiscally conservative North, which is calling for more restraint and narrowly focused measures. Weeks of fraught discussions about the scale and scope of EU support to cushion the economic slump triggered by the pandemic have exposed deep EU divisions, echoing the ones already seen in the Eurozone and financial crises that started a decade ago. The bloc's 27 member states have also fought over medical equipment and drugs, and imposed emergency border checks inside what normally is Europe's zone of control free travel in a bid to curb the spread of the virus, in further signs of how-